Welcome students. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the direct numerical control. Okay, so D and C. So it is D and C, direct numerical control system. So students, let us clear one thing very important about this D and C. So DNC is not the machine tool, it is the system. It is what? The system where more than one or number of CNC's are working on the floor, which is having combinedly one, the host computer or you can say the mainframe computer. Okay. So let us see if this is the floor. So on this floor we are having, okay, and here the tape reading system here this tape reading system but here uh, instead of making this tape uh, this punch tape reading system directly the computers are going to feed in the mini computers of this machine tools say directly into the MCUs so that system is known as BTR that is behind the tape reader BTR BTR behind the because here the punch tape is eliminated so what is in this system actually so here instead of one single NC or CNC machine tool we are having the number of CNC machines on the floor and these machines are connected by the telecommunication lines to the one central computer which is also known as the mainframe computer so that these all machines are getting controlled by this main computer or host computer see all these machines are connected by this telecommunication light to this it is having the NC uh, bulk memory so now what is actually happening is in this direct numerical control system let us see so first of all so different machine tools are here and from different machine tools they are with their capabilities they are producing the different uh, work pieces in the different quantity isn't it so here what we are going to do first is that so this host computer is first going to download the required program for the required or corresponding component it is going to get download the required program to this mini computer or other you can directly say to the machine control unit of every machine okay so this host computer is going to download whatever the required program corresponding to the required part with the required quantity so now once the program get downloaded and the command is given from the host computer to start so every machine is now under work okay now the system is smoothly running now what happened so after completion of any or after completing the work of a, one of uh, these four machines when it come to the rest or it completes its work so it starts sending to the host computer that is I have done with my work what is to be done next okay so say this is machine number one this is two this is three this is four so number three machine uh, out of all come to the rest because it has done its work now machine 3 is starting sending signal to the host computer what I am done with my job or work now what is to be done next so what happened now the person which, who is sitting in front of this host computer uh, will see that signal and respond to that signal that what he will do so he will eliminate the existing program in the machine tool or MCU of this machine tool and he will download the next program which is required or what is the next operation that going to perform whatever the decided operation he will download that program into this mini computer or program uh, uh, this machine tool number three and again give this signal of say start to the machine number three so this will require say 
receiving the signal from the machine which have completed its work again downloading the next program giving the command it will take half an hour okay so 20 to 30 minutes ke liye jo host computer ke samne beta banda hai including the host computer are busy in serving computer number or machine number 3 but meanwhile suppose say machine number 1 is also come to rest because it has it has also completed his job so it will also start sending signal to the host computer that i have done my work what is done to be next okay so meanwhile machine number 4 is also coming to the rest now it is also starting sending signal to the host computer and they, they are continuously starting sending the signal unless and until the machine get attained by this host computer but host computer is busy somewhere uh, somewhere or so, some next machine is getting served by this host computer at that time but the remaining machines are continuously sending signal to the host computer that is a big issue so because of that what is going to ha happen this host computer the host computer is going to hang okay this computer mainframe computer is going to hang and this is known as the traffic jam in the direct numerical control system please remember this is known as the traffic jam the traffic jam in the direct numerical control system please remember now see as see uh, we jaise jaise din technology बढ़ती चली गई अच्छी टेक्नोलॉजी आती चली गई द कॉस्ट ऑफ द मेमोरी इज नाउ डिक्रीज्ड ओके द मेमोरी इज नाउ चीप सो व्हाट हैपन इंस्टेड ऑफ हैविंग दिस मिनी कंप्यूटर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ हैविंग दिस मिनी कंप्यूटर्स और ओनली द मशीन कंट्रोल यूनिट्स ऑफ दिस मशीन टूल्स नाउ व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन नाउ द मशीन टूल्स आर हैविंग द कंप्यूटर्स for the each machine tool so because now these machine tools having having the own computer so now the host computer's duty is what so not only single program it can download download to this machine tools but whatever the operations or whatever the parts that are getting manufactured or produced on the machine tool so maximum number of parts with their programs now they can feed into the memory of that computer and they are giving the numbers of that programs what are the programs suppose in this computer uh, for this machine tool number one i have this machine tool can able to produce the 15 parts so for that 15 parts i can write this I can download these 15 programs giving the certain numbers to that programs into this machine tool. Like that whatever the ability of the machine tool what it can produce based on that whatever the parts which are get manufactured on the machine tool now the programs are written or downloaded to the machine tool. So just and what at what is the work of the host computer now just giving the information about which program is now uh, going to perform and how many components that you are, that machine is going to produce just this much command or information that host computer is giving to the machine tool okay and accordingly that machining are this machine tools are working and as usual when they are completing the job they are starting signal to the host computer now the duty of the person sitting in front of the host computer is what which is the sequence after completion of the current work what is to be done next already it is known to that person just he will give the number of the required part program to this machine tool and that this continues okay so now for to do this to do this that is just informing the machine tool that which part is to be get executed and how many times by giving just only the number 
it is very less time required to attend that machine tool to the host computer so the problem of the problem of the traffic jam is now eliminated now this kind of the system in their direct numerical control where the traffic jam is not there that is what the work for every machine is distributed so whatever the number of parts produced by the machine tool that many number of programs are downloaded already into the computer of this machine tool we are just giving that program number and the quantity that is going to produce by that machine tool from the host computer isn't it so this kind of system is known as the distributed what is known as distributed numerical control this is known as distributed numerical control as there is no any traffic jam is there isn't it so please remember this dnc or distributed numerical controls are not the machines but these are the or uh, this is the system actually there where the n numbers of machines are already are included in that system okay thank you